The point of this series was to highlight games that aren't that great, but do have some redeeming qualities. But this game doesn't really need defending, because nobody played it. Space Trader was released in 2008, and the world stayed exactly the same. Space Trader is a merchant simulation game in which you buy low and sell high. The game starts with you as an enterprising new merchant. Through helping the disabled, you're put into contact with someone who loans you the money in order to purchase a ship to begin your exciting new career. All for the low cost of 1.5 million credits. Gameplay is extremely simple. In order to get started, you can choose to take credit from the bank or explore the trading ports. Scavenging trade goods that the local banana bis addicts have left littered around. These goods can range from something as simple as staple foods to platinum bars and literal ivory tusks. Once you have access to your ship, you are then able to travel from Earth to the Moon and later on to the further reaches of the solar system. Your goal is to pay attention to the ever fluctuating market prices, buy low and sell high. The trading mechanics are so straightforward within the early game that it is almost guaranteed that anything that is crashing in price will recover by the time you get to the next port. Gameplay gets mixed up slightly with the new system. It allows you to learn about which hub has shortages or excess of resources and can be an easy way of making sure that you don't invest in 100 units of psilocybin mushrooms just for the price to plummet when you reach Mars. Once you tire of the loop of the game, you can explore the limited hubs and discover that, hey, there are quests in this game. And this is where the subtitle of the game comes into play. Space Trader Merchant Marine is an arena shooter in which you take on bounties from your local bartender and participate in licking the boots of the Ministry of Accounts. Combat is extremely straightforward, with an arsenal of four guns, you fight your way through the same repeated maps, killing respawning goons and oaks before the bounty turns up and you capture them. The arena maps contain trade resources that should be picked up, goons that drop cash, and the bounty boss which drops a large amount of both. All weapons are absolute garbage, with the exception of the assault rifle, which also doubles as the sniper rifle. Before taking a shot, make sure you crouch to improve your accuracy tenfold, and by using the scope on the rifle, you trade fire rate for increased damage. And you need all the advantages that you can get, because even though the AI is brain dead, you only get three lives to kill your bounty, and the goons tend to group up with assault rifles, shredding through your shields and HP. Just try not to move whilst you crouch, unless you want to experience the worst implementation of headbob in the history of video games. Space Trader is short, five chapters short. Each chapter focused on making enough money to pay back your ever increasing debt. Progress is reset at the beginning of each chapter, so once you have the money to pay off your debt, do it. The soundtrack for Space Trader is fine. It's basic, but it serves its purpose without being memorable. Graphical quality verges on simple to fine. Personally, it evokes a fondness for the simpler times of early 2000 3D games. Despite the fact this game came out in 2008, the same year as Dead Space and other PC exclusive games such as Clear Sky and Crisis Warhead. So, the game's not great, but how do you get the most out of it? Here's my three tips. First of all, don't spend too much time on the bounties. Although it is the easiest way to make money without cutting into your diminishing time limit, it's very easy to get burnt out on the combat entirely within the first chapter. Secondly, this is basically the same as the previous tip, but try not to take missions that aren't simple resource gathering. Missions generally boil down to I need X amount of Y item or go kill this person. Thirdly, as I said earlier, try to finish each chapter as soon as you can. 
The writing is not good enough to spend time finishing up quests, and it is very easy to mismanage your time. Ending up on the moon without the time to get back to Earth to pay off your debt results in a game over, regardless of the 5 million credits sat in your wallet and bank account. Follow these tips and you will have a very mediocre time. But maybe there's another option. The game features multiplayer. I have no idea if this is fun, because obviously nobody plays this mixed review 12 year old game and nobody I know would ever consider paying money for this.